Hello everyone. In this new video series, we're going to work with Cloudy. Cloudy is a very powerful code for simulating plasma. Additionally, it can efficiently model the ionization, chemical and thermal state of radiation exposed matter. In this first tutorial, we're going to follow the official installation procedure in Ubuntu 14.04. These steps should be very similar for most operative systems. However, do not doubt to leave a comment for any issue you may have. Finally, Cloudy is maintained and made freely available by Gary Ferland. In the video description, you will find the links to the official website and the articles explaining the code. Remember to give full references whenever you use any version of these tools. OK, let's get started. First, we need to download the Cloudy package. To do that, we go to its official website at nublado.org. We open our web browser and we type its address, nublado.org. Here we have it. And now we go to the download links page. Over here, we have all the commands we can use to download Cloudy using a terminal. And here we have the link to download it using our web browser. Myself, I already have it, so I shall not make you wait. In this tutorial, we're going to install the C13.03 version, which is described as the stable one. However, using these steps, you will also be able to install the future candidate C15, which has many interesting new features. OK, we minimize this. And we go over the terminal to create a folder to install Cloudy. Make dir Cloudy. And now we go to the file explorer and we open the cloudy package and we drop its content into this folder. We copy and paste. That's it. And now back to the terminal again. We get into this cloudy folder and over there there should be a source folder. At this point, we are ready to compile the code. This procedure should be the same for any current Linux, Mac, or even Windows with Cywin distribution. We just need to type make. And we wait a bit. OK, it is done. Now Cloudy should be ready to run in your computer. Let's test it. Within this source folder, you should have a cloudy.x file. Here it is. This is the executable file from which you run Cloudy. We're going to launch the test method to confirm it is working. We just need to type We press enter once, test, enter, and enter a third time. OK, very nice. It works. You should get the message, cloudy, excited, OK. At this point, we have successfully completed the cloud installation. However, in order to make the experience a bit more comfortable, for the end user, we're going to create a script to run Cloudy from any folder. There are many ways to do this. In this tutorial, the approach we're going to follow has two steps. In the first one, we're going to create a hidden folder in which we will save this script. And secondly, we will add this folder to the operative system path variable. Let me show you how to do this. First, we go to the home folder. And in here, I'm going to create a hidden folder. To that, I type make dir dot and any name you want. For example, my bin. And we get into this folder. And now we're going to generate the text file which we will use to run Cloudy. You can name this file anything. For example, 
run as described in the Nublado website. However, to avoid any confusions, I will name it Cloudy. Since my operative system is Ubuntu, I shall use gedit to write this script. However, you can use any text editor you want. Cloudy. And over here, you just need to add this line. Over here, we have the address of the Cloudy executable I saw you before. And as you remember, it is located in the source folder. And over here, we have this dash p instruction, which is one of the running options for Cloudy. It has two purposes. First, it will add a .in extension to the input script name. And secondly, it will add the script name to the output files. I will run an example so you understand what I'm talking about. At this point, let's just save this script. And now we go back to the terminal and we're going to change its permissions. chmod plus x and cloudy. Very nice. It is green. Now, in the case of uh, a Linux distribution such as Ubuntu, in order to add this folder and hence this script to the path variable, we need to modify the .bash rc file, which is located at the home folder. As we did before, gedit .bash rc. Oops. And over here, we just need to add this line at the end of the file, which contains the address of the new folder to be added to the path variable. We save this script. Now we close this terminal and we add a new one. And to confirm that the folder is now within the path variable, we type echo dollar path. And here we have it. Remember, if you have any issue with this procedure in your operative system, do not doubt to leave a comment below. Let's now generate an example of a cloudy simulation script from the Nublado website. We are going to call this script a script dot in. We paste these lines and we save it. We go back to the terminal and we type cloudy, the name of the script to run cloudy, and now script, the name of the text file with the physical model. Since we set the dash p mode in the running script, we don't need to add the dot in extension. Cloudy will add it for us automatically. Now we press enter and we wait a bit for Cloudy to run this simulation. Okay, Cloudy has finished. And now over here we have the output files, which since we use the dash p instruction, share the name of the script file and have the result of our simulation. Okay, that's all I wanted to show you for now. In the next videos, we will be using Cloudy for some very interesting stuff. Thank you very much for watching and see you soon.